Hey folks, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We're currently on Alkanos, and we're going to take on the board No Ordinary Headache. Now, this particular board has a challenge on it. Complete No Ordinary Headache on Alkanos using a single reactor. So let's take a look at the board itself. The board is we're going to be getting an N2 or an O2 molecule in the same input. And we need to kick out nitric oxide, which is, which is NO, double bonded. The problem here is because it's coming in on the same input, we're getting 25% nitrogen, 75% oxygen. And we need to create equal amounts NO2 off beads. What we do have available to us is this recycling plant, which can take atoms or molecules and just throws them away. It doesn't matter, they can burn anything. So your hints for this level for beating the challenge of a single reactor. Your Waldos are going to have to want to take care of different atom types. Your second hint is be very, very careful of sinks during your atom decision. You don't want to get caught in a position where you can't use sinks to hold the other Waldo. Your third hint is you can throw away complete molecules. Don't waste time splitting anything that you don't care about. All right, so we're gonna begin again. However, one of the things I wanted to show you was, um, yeah, I've tried to record this three freaking times now, and every time something has gone horribly, horribly wrong with the resulting recording, and or the pacing of the discussion is just horrid, and by the time I'm done editing it, uh, it's just, way too disjointed. So, we're gonna try this again. So, single reactor solution. We start off with a single reactor. We bring the one pipe up here, go to the nitric oxide, and we have a dump pipe. Over to recycle. Now we come in here. Let's start off with getting Blue out of the way. We'll need him later. Second off. Alright, secondly, we're going to move our bonders up along here. And the reason we're going to do that is because eventually we're going to bring up one nitrogen and one oxygen molecule up here. We're going to ship two nitrous oxides out. Now, how do we get there? That's going to be the trick. All right, so we start off with red. Red grabs an in. Actually, we're going to start red here. It's going to come up this way, and it's going to do a grab. Now, over here... We're going to make a decision. Make the decision here. Now, if we have an oxygen, because we want red to have oxygen, we're going to send red that way. Otherwise, red's coming this way and looping around. It's going to do a drop, and it's going to do a shift. See you, nitrogen. We didn't like you anyway. Now, for this trick, we're going to start blue back here just a little bit. Actually, you can start a little closer. That's fine for our purposes. We're going to bring in an alpha. Uh, yeah, I can bring it in here. Actually, we want that to trigger second. Go up this way. Now remember, red triggers first on ins. We're going to do a grab drop. We're going to do the same idea here on nitrogen. We're going to go take a walk with it. Otherwise, we're going to dump our oxygens on blue. So what we have done is basically let red run oxygen and blue run nitrogen. Now, why won't this collide? The reason this won't collide is twofold. First off, you'll notice I have a single entry pipe here. What the, any production source like this will pump out one new molecule every 10 cycles, okay? Now, if the pipe is jammed, it skips the cycle. It doesn't backlog in the production, but it will backlog in a pipe. What we wanna do, is make sure that we've only got one molecule in the pipe at any time so that red triggers and blue won't run it over on it. And on our way back in, we're gonna gap out red and blue enough to make sure that they can't step on each other. That's gonna be key. We cannot use a sink down in this grab rotation. The reason we can't use a sink is because we're going to need sinks up here to hold different, to hold our Waldos while it waits for the other to find its friend. So we're going to start with our oxygen. Um, we're just going to send blue over that way. Um, if it's got a nitrogen, we'll deal with that here in a moment. So on oxygen, 
when it comes through, we're going to unbond. I'm going to unbond it once here. So we've gotten rid of one of our oxygen bonds. And when we come through up here, I'm going to unbond it again. That's going to leave me an oxygen in this position. This one, however, is going to hang out right up here until I'm ready for it. Part of the reason we don't want to move this around and get everything set up is because we still need to deal with our nitrogen. But our nitrogen now is going to hang out over here until we're sure that oxygen is done and nitrogen is ready. Once that's good to go, we're going to send nitrogen this way. We are going to... Okay, we're going to drop nitrogen here. I'm going to loop back around, and what we're going to do is three unbondings. Like so. And I'm going to set this to grab only. This way I'm not dropping early. So blue has gone through. It's going to come through off the sink. We're going to sink it here, actually, so that I'm as close as possible. One cycle, two cycle, three cycle, four cycle, five cycle, six cycle, seven cycles. It's eight cycles until it gets out of the way. Comes up here and drops off its nitrogen for the other one. So I need to have eight uh, red wait at least eight cycles before it comes through here to drop its oxygen. One, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that's bad. No, we've synced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is gonna be really tight. So we're gonna drop there. Now the key is, as it drops, it's going to hit this bond minus again. That's fine, but we want to make sure that we're not trying to have it fight with blue doing a bond plus. But however, because this bond minus should trigger when our icon is here, we should be all right. So we have blue do three bonds on its way through. We're going to send red right back into the pattern as quickly as possible. But we're going to put in another pair of sinks. Uh, let me see. I want blue bonded there. Now, I'm literally doing this to simply delay blue just a little bit longer. And the reason for this is I want the red to come in one, two, three, four. This will make blue come in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will gap my two. And hopefully, I won't run into collisions down line. I may have to change around where this sink sits. This is going to be a matter of timing. And we're going to see how it works out. And actually, I forgot something. We're going to do an out on Psy with blue. That will delay it a little longer. So here's what we're going to look like. Um, okay, let's try that again. And we want the in on beta. Here we go. So red grabs an in. It does its grab. It runs over here. Realizes it has an oxygen. And it's left one oxygen here. And it's waiting for nitrogen to come through. Nitrogen comes through. Triple unbonds it. Grabs it. Ooh, I'm one too close. I'm not quite out of the way here when this is ready to go. <coughs> uh, let's see. What can I do to make this faster? Okay, so to make this go faster, what we're going to do is move this over here. And I'm going to clear that. This will lower our cycle time here. But the trick will be, once I'm at least two out on red, so we've synced. We're here, we're here. Once we're right there, I can do an unbond. Um, actually, I need to drop. Do I need to drop it first? I don't think so. All right, so let's load up oxygen. Okay, oxygen is hanging out. Now we've got to wait for our blue to find its nitrogen. There's our nitrogen. It's detected nitrogen. It comes up here. It sinks up. Everybody's good to go. Okay, that's got room to one, two, three. That's got that out of the way. Okay, we've double bonded. And we've shipped it. Red gets out of the way of blue. Blue kind of hangs out and waits. And it's got to find another nitrogen. And here we go again. A simple enough process. Okay, and we've shipped out all of that. So now what we're going to do is make sure that I've got my timing right down here in the cycle. Make sure that they can't step on each other with a pair of ins. And to show you what's going on outside the reactor, if you'll notice, okay, I hit 340. And I, this pipe stays empty 
until 352. So two, it takes two cycles for the atom to actually get up against the edge of the pipe. But it's actually producing on the 10 spot. So now what I want to do is I want to try and show you what happens if blue finds a nitrogen first. Not this cycle. One of the cycles it'll do it. Now I do have an extra bond going on up here that I don't actually need because it's only supposed to be double bonded, but the oxygens can handle it. I could actually shorten this piping down a hair. It's okay the way it sits. Okay, so red found a nitrogen. Okay, so blue's got its nitrogen. I'm gonna come up here and hang out. Now we're gonna wait for red to find its oxygen. So you'll notice it's going to slide right past nitrogen here, which is now out of the way, and it's going to trigger off and make sure that we don't have a problem. And there we go. That will help speed things along. Now I believe actually I can clean this up a little. So before we continue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bond. I'm going to clear that. I'm going to clear that. It should be more less symbol heavy. I'm going to have the out delay it after the sink. So red gets itself going before blue even gets involved here. There we go. So there we go. We have a working single reactor build out. This could be done more efficiently if we send N and O out uh, into another reactor. But there's really kind of no reason to. Uh, by the time you're done, you're, this input is pretty much your biggest problem. It's just, you know, when red throws away a nitrogen and the pattern goes out of order that you really end up with a problem. But other than that, you're fine. So let's uh, put this on max. And there we go. So this run actually ran a little quicker because, you know, practice makes perfect. Um, this was a 1397 run in a single reactor with 49 symbols. So there you are, no ordinary headache. Uh, completed using one reactor in Alkanost. And for our next one, we'll be heading over to No Thanks Necessary. As always, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying, please leave a like or a comment, and I will see you next time.